Hey guys, it's Kirby, and today I'm talking all about waves. You know that waves are a summer hair staple, but if you're having trouble mastering that effortless look, don't worry, I got you. And also, I'm not just gonna be showing you one way to wear waves, I'm gonna be showing you three ways to wear waves, so let's get right into it. But before we get started, I've gotta give a little snap of applause to my friends at Sexy Hair. Sexy Hair has made this video possible, and today I'm gonna be using two of my favorite new products from their texture product line. Okay, so what is this first look? This first look is really just a tutorial on how I wave my hair. Some of you guys already have this really natural, beautiful, bendy wave without doing anything to your hair. And you are blessed from the hair gods, okay? Just don't take that for granted. If that's the case with you, all you're gonna need is some of this product. If I were you, I'd be taking Surfer Girl or Foam Party, putting that in my hair, and then you're done. But to have my waves hold throughout the day, I actually need a hot tool. I'm using a curling iron. There is a technique to using the curling iron because you don't want these waves to look too precious. I really don't like it when they look too coiffed. It's supposed to look effortless after all, like you just you know left the beach. Before I get started on the actual wave portion, I usually wash and dry my hair, get out of the shower, let it air dry as much as possible, and then I take a hair dryer and just smooth out my ends give my bangs some volume, um, and then also get my roots. Now that my hair has been blown out, I have the ends looking nice, I have my bangs going, I'm going to take a clip and I'm gonna section off my hair. Okay, so I am taking a one inch section of hair. I'm going to smooth it down to the end and then about halfway down on the hair, I'm just gonna start waving it and I'm gonna keep moving the, the curling iron and I'm leaving the end out. That way it creates more of an S curl than a straight curl. So I'm gonna do this in this entire section that I have down. And the other tip that I have is alternate the direction. So since I turned this way for this one, I'm gonna turn inward for this one. And I'm gonna keep doing this all the way to the top of my head. So for the bangs, I'm gonna separate them into two pieces. I like to do an S curl, but not in the same way that I've been doing the rest of my hair. So basically I take the hair and I kind of like give it a little, uh, see? See how that kind of lifts right here? And then I take the middle section and I curl it underneath. So it kind of creates like this. And then I take the piece at the end, smooth it out and curl it back under like this. Voila. And then that way it kind of lays more flat. It's not going out like a wing. And it kind of just lays there really nicely. You just don't want to hold it too long or else it's going to look like there's just a line in your hair and not like it's an actual wave. So now that my waves are done, I want to add a little bit of texture to my hair. Um, this is going to add a little bit of a grip because I just washed my hair last night. So there's a little bit of a slip to it. Um, and because of the two looks that I'm going to be showing you, I do need to have a little bit of grip. So I'm going to use a foam. This is the Texture Sexy Hair Foam Party. Take a little. There we go. A little tiny bit. Don't go overboard, okay? You're gonna massage it into your hand, and I'm just gonna scrunch it through my hair. Do a little, little rub. Now that I have my texture, let's go into the second look. This is actually a huge trend right now. It's all about adding accessories. I'm seeing people add flare in their hair. There's like 26 clips on this side, 46 on this side. People can't get enough, and you know what? I love that look. I think it's really, really fun. It's really great to express your creativity. But the good thing is, if you're not into that look, don't worry, you don't have to add that many. You get to dictate how many little clips you put in your hair. So in terms of what type of hairstyle this looks best on, there's so many different types. But because I have waves, I'm just gonna put it right here to clip my bangs back. So it's gonna look more of like a sleek look and then a lot of volume at the bottom. I was gonna add a few of these little guys I wanna put it like right ya. Bam. Okay, so my bangs are clipped back. And then you can add more. So feel free to play around and have fun, honestly. This is like, you know, ear jewelry, ear wardrobe. You wanna style your hair too. And then I just tuck the ends of my bangs behind my ear so it doesn't look so like stark, like coming out of the clip. All right, and just to pump up the volume a little tiny bit, 
I'm gonna add some more foam party. And basically when I'm rubbing like this, I'm kind of roughing up the hair cuticle. If you don't want that look, just kind of scrunch it in there. So fun, have fun with hair flare. We've got pearls over here. We've got the gold going with the pearl accent. This kind of brings it together. Clips are out and now it's time for look three, which is also super simple. You know how it feels when you have hair on the back of your neck when you're sweating during the summer. Well, we're gonna do a low pony. So I don't need to teach you guys how to do a low ponytail. I'm just gonna give you a few tips. So first and foremost, I like to add texture to my hair so that when I do this ponytail, it's not just matted to my head. So I'm using Surfer Girl. This is their dry texturizing spray. First and foremost, shake it. Then hold it, I don't know, six to eight inches away from the root of your hair. Kind of massage it in there. Great. Another thing I like to do, I literally just spray it into the ends of my hair to add that much needed texture and volume. Now that that has happened, just like to take the little tendrils from around my face, leave them out, take the longer pieces, bam. You could even do this with the accessories. If you like the accessories, go ahead and swoop those in there and then pull up your ponytail. And then the key to get some more volume with the ponytail is just to grab the top and the bottom and pull a little bit. All right, just to top things off, bam, for good measure. Guys, so easy. I mean, listen, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. You guys know how to do ponytails. You guys know how to add accessories to your hair. But sometimes it helps to see somebody else do it and do it very simply, and then you're like, okay, I can do this now. All right, guys, what do you think of the three styles that we created with the waves today? Have you tried any of these? Would you wanna try them? Uh, actually, I wanna know, how do you style your waves? Do you put them in braids? Do you use a lot of accessories? Do you do a high pony? If you have pictures, even better, put it in the comment section below. I love getting inspiration from you guys. And speaking of you guys, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Kirby Johnson. I'm on Facebook too, Kirby Johnson TV. I love to hear from you. It inspires me for my next video. So hope to hear from you soon. And again, special thanks to our friends at Sexy Hair for giving us this product to use uh, with these three styles. See you next time.